So, Ari, I have a question. Do you have a pet in your house? What? No pets. Hi, teacher. Hello, Arturo. Welcome. Arturo. Mm. Do you have a pet? No. No. Oh, no pet? No. Oh, I man. Have... Yes, I do. <laughs> You have a dog, a cat. I have no. two cats and one dog. Cats and one dog. Okay. What are their names? Um, Sheldon, Campanita, and Gala. Okay. Okay. Are they are they young or old? One is old. And um, what do they do all day? I I did some things for my school. Yes. No, not you, your pets. Eat. They only eat and sleep. Yes. Like, do they catch mice or do they catch cockroaches? Or no? Toys? Huh? I don't understand. Do they catch cockroaches? Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Or do they catch mice, ratones? Mice, you know. Oh, yes, Eat it? Yes. yes? Oh, yeah. Just what, kind of what? What kind of what kind of dog do you have? I don't know. You don't know what kind of dog you have? No. It's big or small? Small. And Arturo, I know you don't have a pet, but if you could have an animal, what animal would you like to have as a pet? A dog. A big one or a small one? No. Huh? A small, small one. Yeah. Like a chihuahua. No. no. Okay, cool, cool. Arturo, did you do the homework? No. Oh. Well, but look, next week we have an exam. Okay, next week. But look, I am happy that both of you are here and it's before 430. So I want to take this opportunity to ask you a question. Okay, are you listening? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is my question. Next week, we open the school. Do you want to return to the school or do you prefer to continue with the online classes? I don't know. I need to my mom. Okay. 
Well, look, I I prefer that we continue with the online classes because you know, it's a little dangerous right now. In the school, we're gonna have, well, we're gonna take all the safety measures that we need. Um, you know, we're gonna be separated. We're gonna have hand sanitizer. We're gonna wear masks. Um, we're gonna disinfect all of the tables and the, and the chairs. But that's not the problem. The problem is, you know, what if one student is sick? Or what if, what if for me, for example, I ride the colectivo and one person is sick and, and they infect me and then I infect you? Because, you know, think about it, all of the hospital, the doctors and the nurses, they have all the equipment. They have the, the, the face mask, the face shield, the uh, helmet, they have the suit, they have the special shoes, and they still get the virus. Imagine us only with the mask. <laughs> Nothing. It's going to be really dangerous. So, you know, I, I want you to talk to your parents, okay? I want you to talk to your parents. Um, you know, tell them that we have the option. We are opening the school, and the, and the director he says, if you want to come, you can come. All right, but I don't recommend it. All right, I don't recommend it. But I know that s some people they don't want the, like some people they don't like the online classes. You know, they prefer to return to the school. So, you know, it, it all depends on you, you know. Ari and Arturo, it depends on you. You have the option, okay? Yeah, but when, teacher? Um, next Friday, I think. Yeah, because right now we're still in semáforo rojo. But I don't know. Talk. Um, well, during during the break, I'm going to call you so I can talk to your mom, Arturo and Ariana, okay, to see what what you guys want to do, okay. And well, let's see. On the bus, go round and round, round and round, round and round. Feel the bus go round and round. All through the town. You know that song, Arturo? Mande. Do you know the song, The Wheels on the Bus? No. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Uh, yeah. You, Ari? What about this one? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Yes. Down came the rain. Yes, you know that one too? What about... Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Yes? Yes. yes you know all the good songs. His face was white as snow. All right. Beautiful students. So you you know last week we talked about um, 
wonders of the world. You know, the highest mountain is Mount Everest. We talk about human wonders, right? The largest shopping mall is in Canada. So I, I, right now, I want to show you something. So right now, can, can you see my screen? Guinness yes. World Records? All right. So, you know, let's look at the, ah, the Guinness World Record. Wh which one do you want to see? The most dangerous ant, shortest dog living, largest bubble gum, bubble blown, smallest waist, largest living cat, most children deliver at a single birth to survive. Oh my God. Tallest dog ever. Longest legs, female. Which one would you like to see? Largest living cat. Largest living cat. Okay, let's see. My gosh, that cat is big. Hey, who? The name is Hercules. And in the United States, Myrtle Beach. Oh, I'm really close to my house. Um, when in 2013? Ari, can you read what it says, please? The first paragraph. The largest living cat is Hercules, an adult male leader, lion, pets, tigers, hybrid, currently housed at Middle Beach Safari, a wildlife reserve in South California, USA, in total length, he now measures, measures the tree that is Meters. 131 in is then 1.25 meters. 49 at the shoulder and 418.2 Arturo, can you finish, please? Yes. And in Hercules, no? Yeah. Hercules eats around 13.6 kilograms of meat about the same weight as two-year-old child. Every day, wash it down with several liters of water. Finish. His brother, Simbad, is a slight, light teller, but it's also like her. Hercules has four new webs, which were born in 2040, Yeti, Odin, Samsons, and Apollo, these are the first white 
Ligers ever formed with the jetty brain, the largest of the leaders. Oh my God, it's fat. <laughs> about ligers. All right, Ari, can you read that? Ligers. Ligers are generally larger than uh, two parental species, tigers and lions. In contrast, the ones, the hybrid of the reciprocal crossing of a male tiger and a lioness are often smaller than their Progenitals. Continue. Yes, please. As how the cross between lions and tigers this happens naturally without the need of high health. Happens in forest and reserve. As lions and tigers don't cross territories in the wild, in general, male hybrids are sterile. Wow. So this happens when you combine a lion and a tigers. But it only happens in the parks and the reserves only at the zoo. Wow. That's very weird, right? A lion and the tiger making babies? Make sure. All right, now let's look at one more. Which one would you like to read about? The most dangerous ant, shortest dog living, largest bubblegum bubble. Blanc, blanc. Huh? Darkest bull blanc. Largest bubble gum bubble. Mm -hmm. All right. Who? Chad Bell. What? Fifty point eight centimeters. United States, Winston County, when? 24 April 2004. Arturo, can you please read this? Yeah. Chad Fell, USA, blew a bubble gum bubble with a di diameter. diameter of 50.8 centimeters without using his hands uh, at the Towel Springs High School, Winston County, Alabama, USA, on 24 April 2004. The secret of his success says, Chad is blowing with a free piece of bubble bubble gum. Wow, so you need three pieces of double bubble. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody asked how much was it in inches? Because it says centimeters. You know, Americans, they don't know centimeters. They only know inches, pulgadas. And somebody said, maybe don't be dumb and use the metric system. <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurts. Well. What is inches? Inches is pulgadas. Do you know pulgadas? Yes, I think in Mexico we don't use pulgadas. Only, only when things come from other countries, like laptops. They say pulgadas because they come from the United States. In fact, inches is only used in the United States. Everywhere else in the world, they use centimeters, like in Mexico. So, the 
this, this person's funny. He wants to know how much was it in inches. And Tom Brett said, maybe don't be dumb and use the metric system. True, true. Well, honestly, I don't know the metric system either, so I can't laugh. And well, right now, I want you to open up your book to page 26. So, what day is it today? What day is it? July. Wow. July, July 3. Or July 3rd, yes. July 3, 2020. And the objective for today is to be a supportive listener. Using sure and All right, and to be more emphatic when we express our opinions. So yes, um, it, it's a conversation lesson, okay? Today, we're going to practice being supportive listeners. You know, in a conversation, you usually have two people talking, person A and person B, person one and person two. If one person is speaking, the best thing to do is to listen, okay, to listen. but don't just listen. Let the other person know that you are listening. How? Well, you can make comments, okay? You can make con comments like, sure, really? You know, th those little comments, they tell the person that you are listening and it will motivate the person to speak more and more and more, all right? So that's one thing we're gonna practice, how to be a supportive, listener and the next thing is we're going to practice how to be more emphatic when we express our opinions and emphatic means with more emotion using more emotion when we express our opinions okay for example i can say acapulco is a good city acapulco is a good city but if i say acapulco is the most amazing city in mexico that expresses more emotion. I let you know that I am really passionate about Acapulco, okay? And another thing, pizza is delicious. Pizza is the most delicious food in the world. You know, I, I put more emotion into I sound emphatic, all right? Any questions, Arturo, Ariana? No. Okay, let's begin. What is the title of this lesson? This is the most incredible place. The most incredible place. 
they must be talking about number one conversation strategy being a supportive listener what's the best way to agree with this thing this is the most beautiful beach well it's okay B uh-huh or C yeah it really is no, what is the best way to agree huh C yes. C. Yes. C. it is definitely C Yeah, it really is. Okay. Now, that's good. Let's practice. Ariana, you are A, and Arturo, you are C. This is the most beautiful beach. Yeah, it really is. Okay, switch. This is the most beautiful beach. Yeah, it really is. All right, great, great. Um, Ari, can you read the instructions, please? Now listen to Kia one. What do they say about Sequoia National Park? Good. So look at these people. This is Kim. She's beautiful. And this is Juan. He's handsome. He's handsome. Um, you know, they are at this park. They're at a park and, and they're looking at all of their surroundings, the beautiful trees, the fresh air, all right? But then they talk about something. They talk about Sequoia National Park, okay? So I want you to listen and read the conversation, okay? What do they say about Sequoia National Park? incredible place one conversation strategy can you hear the audio or no yes being a supportive listener a now listen to kim and Juan. what do they say about sequoia national park this is the most incredible place yeah it really is it feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. They really are. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You're right. We really should. All right, so what do they say about Sequoia National Park? What do they say? Trees that are the tallest in the world. These are the tallest in the world. Yes, that's true. And well, now let's practice the conversation. Arturo, you are Juan. Ariana, you are Kim. Remember to put emotion in your conversation. Please, Ariana, begin. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out uh, of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. 
they really are. Have you ever been to Se to Se Kioa National Park? No, have you? Yeah, I went last year. The priests, there are the big colors in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just to the greatest place to hike. We should go hiking there sometime. You are right. We really should. All right. Now switch. Arturo, you're a kid? Yeah, boy. This is the most incredible place. Yeah, it really is. It feels good to be out of the city. It sure does. You know, these trees are just awesome. They really are. Have you ever been to Sequoia National Park? No. Have you? Yeah, I went last year. The trees there are the tallest in the world. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had the best time. I mean, it's just the greatest place to hike. We shall go hiking work, hiking there sometime. You're right. We really should. Notice, okay, notice, notice how Kim and Juan use short responses with really and sure to agree and to be supportive listeners. Find examples in the conversation. Okay, so help me find examples of where they say sure and really. It really is. It really is. All right. Any more? They really are. They really are. Really? We should. We really should. really should. Any more? We. Oui. No, short responses, not short oh. questions. Okay, but yes, they use really and they use sure. For yeah. example, it sure does. Okay, what else? That's all? Okay, so listen and repeat after me. It really is. It, really it sure is. does. It sure does. It sure does. They really are. They really are. We really should. We really should. What do you notice? We really should. You know, and, and that is this right here is kind of interesting. You know, we have, you know, the subject which is it, they, etc. And then we also have sure or really. And then we have the auxiliary verb, for example, does or should, or we have the verb to be. like is and are, okay? Let's practice this a little bit.
Victor, can you read the instructions, please? Match the comments on the left with the responses on the right. Then practice with a partner. I'll, I'll help you with number one. Number one, the weather was really great last Saturday. You're right, we really should. Yeah, we sure have. It sure is. It really was. I spent the whole day outdoors or E, no, it sure doesn't. That's too bad. The weather was really great last Saturday. What is correct? Um, e? Yes, it is B. All right, excellent. Please complete this exercise by yourself. You have two minutes. All right, so let's do number two. Arturo? Yes. This, we should go snorkeling sometime. There oh, number two. This city doesn't have many parks. Uh -huh. No, letter B. Letter B. Number three. Wait. Right. All right, number three. All right. Oh, number two, I thought you said is B is not correct, my friend. Number four. Ari? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. C. C. And Arturo, five. E. What'd you say? Letter E. Letter E. Okay, I see we, we you both made mistakes right here. Oh my god. E A C B. That's the answers right there. Then that's how it should be. All right. And Ariana and Arturo, let's practice, okay? Ariana, you read the comments on the left and then Arturo, you respond. Yeah. The word was really great last Saturday. It really was. I spent the whole day outdoors. This city doesn't have many parts. No, it sure doesn't. That's too bad. We should go snorkeling sometime. You are right. We really should. Sure. 
Green Lake is a great place to go swimming. It sure is. It sure is. We had a lot of fun today. Yeah, we sure have. All right, now switch, please. The weather was really great last Sunday. It really was. I spent the whole day outdoors. This city doesn't have many parks. No, it sure doesn't. That's too bad. We should go snorkeling sometime. You're right. We really should. It's a great place to go swimming. It sure is. We have a lot of fun today. Yeah, we sure have. Now, you're going to change your information right here. The weather was really da -da -da, last Sunday. This city doesn't have many da -da -da. We should da -da -da. Da -da -da is a great place to go swimming. And we da -da -da today. Remember, number five is present perfect, so you need to use the verb in the past participle. Okay? So, you know, complete this information using your own ideas. Okay, use your own ideas. If you need any help, Respond with the answers there. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, it sure doesn't. That's too bad. We should go. We should write this like sometime. Um, you write. We really should. That is that is a great place to go swimming. Sure is. We had a hot day, a hot today. No. We had we had a hot day today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should have. All right, now Ari, you say yours, please. Use your memory. The weather was really sunny last Saturday. You are right. We really should. Huh? <laughs> and but I spent to go day of birth. Yeah. This city doesn't have many hospitals. It sure is. Yes. 
No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, it sure doesn't. That's too bad. We should go watch a movie sometime. You are right, we, we, we really should. A little bit is a great place to go swimming. Yeah, it sure is, it sure is. We've sunk a lot of alert today. Yeah, we sure have. Yeah, you talked a lot today, that's true. All right, let's continue to the next page. Please go to page 27. Okay. Do you know superlatives? Arturo, do you remember the superlatives? Or not? Superlative. Ah, yes. The best and the most. Yes. Ari, do you know superlatives? What? Did you? Do you know superlatives? Hmm? Do you know what superlatives are? Or no? No. All right. So a superlative is this, Ari. Examples are the best the worst, the fastest, yes, the most beautiful, the least beautiful, Those are superlatives, all right? Um, let, me, let me explain some very common ones. Remember that good is turned into, oh my God, the best, okay? And we also have short adjectives like good, I mean, sorry, like great. Great turns into the greatest. Um, and quick turns into the quickest. That is for the short adjectives. If you don't, if you don't know this, please take notes. But if you understand, then okay. Long adjectives are a little different, though. For example, interesting can be the most interesting, or the least interesting. But for this lesson, we're gonna use the most, okay? Same thing with amazing. Amazing can be the most amazing and the least amazing, okay? So please read the instructions, Arturo. Yeah. Good luck. Yes. Complete the answers with the separative form of the adjective, then practice with a partner. Practice again with your own information. All right. 
All right, did you have a question? No? Okay. Number one, Arturo, you are B, Ari, you are one. I am A? Yes. No, Ari is A and you are B. Okay. Should I stop in New York City when I go to the United States? Well, I really like to see the most interesting people everywhere. Very good. See the most interesting people everywhere. All right, and finish two, three, and four by yourself, please. How are you? Teacher, good eat well, no? Es well. Um, that is the adverb. Well is the adverb for good. But the superlative, well, is different. The good is no, the good is no. At the best. Best. Okay. Number two. Ari, you are A, Arturo B. How was, how was your vacation? Where is from? Yeah, I went hiking in Peru in the mountains. I had the best time. Have you ever been to the Galapagos Island? No, but I've read a lot of about them. They have greatest, the greatest. Exactly, the greatest wildlife there. And number four. Have you ever heard of an old wedding in Cambodia? Yeah, I've been there. It's the amazing, the most amazing place. Excellent. The most amazing place. All right, all right. And well, let's continue. 
if you have headphones, please put your headphones on. You're going to need them. Page 26, Lesson C. This is the most incredible place. Page 27, 3, Listening and Speaking. Travel Talk. A. Listen to an interview on a radio show. In what order does Jill Ryan talk about these experiences? Number the photos. Caribbean cruise, a visit to Petra, Jordan, or a trip to Antarctica, and a train ride through the Copper Canyon in Mexico. Okay, please listen and order them in the order in which they mention them. Welcome to Travel Talk. I'm your host, Ray Martin. My guest today is travel writer Jill Ryan. Jill has traveled around the world many times. Her new book is called A Traveler's Tales. Jill, welcome to Travel Talk. Thank you, Ray. It's great to be here. Jill, you have the most interesting life. You must really love traveling. Yeah, I really do. I love learning new things about the world. Well, let's talk about your new book. You know, you've been to some of the most interesting places in the world. I really have. I feel so lucky. So then, tell me, what's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most unusual ancient city. There's a picture of it in my book. Look at that. The city is all rock. That's amazing. It really is. Actually, the name Petra means City of Rock. I see. Now, you've been to some beautiful natural places, too. What's the most beautiful place you've seen? Hmm, that's a difficult question. There are so many beautiful places. Well, Antarctica has the most beautiful natural features I've ever seen. Yeah, it sure does. I'm looking at the picture in your book. Wow. Okay, let's talk about your best and worst vacations. What's the best vacation you've had? My trip to Copper Canyon in Mexico last year was the best vacation. Here's a picture of the canyon. The colors are wonderful. Wow, they sure are. So what's the most exciting thing you've done on a trip? Do you see that train in the picture? I rode that train through the Copper Canyon, and it was the most exciting thing I've ever done. I bet. It looks fantastic. I should go there myself. I love trains. Yeah, you really should. It's the best train ride. Okay. Well, now I have to ask, what was your worst vacation? Well, two years ago, I took a Caribbean cruise. The cruise was great but I got very sick with the flu or something. I had to stay in my room for four days. I didn't see or do anything. It was the worst trip. Yeah, it sure sounds terrible. Well, Jill, I want to thank you for being on Travel Talk. You're welcome, Ray. It was my pleasure. So what is the first thing they mention? Hmm? What 
the first thing that you mentioned? Petra Jordan. Yes, Petra Jordan. Number two. Antarctica. Yeah, Antarctica. Excellent. Number three. A train. A train ride to a train ride through the Copper Canyon in Mexico. And four. Caribbean cruise. Caribbean cruise. Excellent. Excellent. And B, listen again. How does Jill answer these questions? Complete the sentences. All right. Number one, what's the most interesting place you've ever been to? What's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Listen, how does Petra answer these questions? Page 27, three, listening and speaking, travel talk. B, listen again. How does Jill answer these questions? Complete the sentences. Welcome to Travel Talk. I'm your host, Ray Martin. My guest today is travel writer Jill Ryan. Jill has traveled around the world many times. Her new book is called A Traveler's Tales. Jill, welcome to Travel Talk. Thank you, Ray. It's great to be here. Jill, you have the most interesting life. You must really love traveling. Yeah, I really do. I love learning new things about the world. Well, let's talk about your new book. You know, you've been to some of the most interesting places in the world. I really have. I feel so lucky. So then, tell me, what's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most unusual what? ancient city. Petra and Journey. Let's listen to it's it one more time. Unusual. Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most unusual ancient city. Petra and Journey. I feel so lucky. So then, tell me, what's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Well, one really interesting place I visited is Petra in Jordan. It's the most unusual the ancient what? city. Is the most Petra. unusual? The most unusual what? The most unusual city. Okay. It's the most unusual city. Here we go. Let's continue. There's a picture of it in my book. Look at that. The city is all rock. That's amazing. It really is. Actually, the name Petra means city of rock. I see. Now, you've been to some beautiful natural places, too. What's the most beautiful place you've seen? Hmm, that's a difficult question. There are so many beautiful places. Well, Antarctica has the most beautiful natural features I've ever what? seen. Has the most beautiful sure Well, Antarctica has the most beautiful natural features I've ever seen. The most, most beautiful, beautiful natural features. Most beautiful natural features. I've 
ever seen. Okay, number three. Here we go. Yeah, it sure does. I'm looking at the picture in your book. Wow. Okay, let's talk about your best and worst vacations. What's the best vacation you've had? My trip to Copper Canyon in Mexico last year was the best vacation. Here's a picture of the canyon. The colors are wonderful. Wow, they sure are. The colors, colors what? are wonderful. It's good listening. Good listening. So what's the most exciting thing you've done on a trip? Do you see that train in the picture? I rode that train through the Copper Canyon. Listen. Thing you've done on a trip. Do you see that train in the picture? I rode that train through the Copper Canyon and I rode that train. Train through the Copper Canyon. I rode that train through the Copper Canyon. Excellent. It was the most exciting thing I've ever done. I bet. It looks fantastic. I should go there myself. I love trains. Yeah, you really should. It's the best train ride. Okay. Well, now I have to ask, what was your worst vacation? Well, two years ago, I took a Caribbean cruise. The cruise was great, but I got very sick with... The cruise was great, but I got very sick with the flu or something. I got very sick. I got very sick with the flu or something. I had to stay in my room for four days. I didn't see or do anything. It was the worst trip. Yeah, it sure sounds terrible. Well, Jill, I want to thank you for being on Travel Talk. You're welcome, Ray. It was my pleasure. Okay. Number one. What's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Okay, let's discuss these questions, but using our personal information. Okay? So, uh, you know, I want you to take one or two minutes to read the questions and think about some answers because we're going to discuss it together as a group. Okay? Make sure that your answers are complete sentences. Thank you. 